Hi, I'm Bobby, and today I really want to talk about flat rate tracks within QuickBooks Online. Now, as you may know, this is a feature which isn't actually supported within QBO, also known as QuickBooks Online. Um, there isn't a standalone module which allows you to calculate flat rate within the actual software. However, I have actually created a workaround, uh, which I use myself, um, which generates the correct amount of tax that's due to HMRC, and it also allows me to keep my books and figures in order and up to date within my QuickBooks Online. So let's just get started. If you click on the VAT tab on the top right hand side, it'll actually take you to the VAT Center. Within this VAT Center, we've recently um, seen a new feature where we now have the ability to create a new tax. So if you were to click on the new tax button, and then from there click on a custom tax, click next. From this page, you can actually name your tax anything that you like. You can name it flat rate 20%, you can call it flat rate, whatever, whatever you want. Put in your registration number, put in your filing frequency, and also your reporting method. Tick the both the boxes over here, uh, below that. And when you click next from this page, you're actually taken to a page where you have to assign uh, a percentage to this new custom tax that you've just created. Now, it's really important you assign 20%. And the reason for that is when you actually sell your product or your services to your customer and when you create an invoice, regardless of whatever flat rate is uh, relevant to you regarding your industry, you're still going to charge your customers 20%. So because of that, you have to choose 20% as the rate um, when you create this new custom tax. Once you've created it, you'll see a message here saying congratulations. And now in this box, you'll also see your new customized tax. So let's get started. First of all, let's create an invoice. I'm going to add in a new customer called Test. I'm going to put this invoice for £100. And when I click on the arrow underneath the VAT column, you actually see all the different types of rates uh, within QuickBooks Online. The one that I recently created, flat rate 20, will also be listed. So I'm going to select that. I also have the ability to have the amounts exclusive of that or inclusive. So for this exercise, I'm going to choose exclusive. Click on save. Now, when we get on this screen over here, we can actually see that within the box where it says flat rate 20, the new tax that you've just created it's actually indicating that you owe HMRC £20. However, you know that the actual settings based in QuickBooks Online are not the same as the flat rate settings with, that are required. So, I've actually created a worksheet uh, which will actually help me calculate the correct amount. So first of all, if I click on Prepare Return, now this is a feature I really like with QuickBooks Online. We've got the, the visual aid there as well from Box 1 to 9. I find it really, really good and helpful where I actually got these boxes because when you actually go to HMRC's website, you'll actually be submitting your VAT and you'll also see the same boxes there as well. So I think that's a great feature within QuickBooks. So here's my worksheet. Minimized it there. And all I'm going to do is take the figures from my QuickBooks Online, so box one to nine, and transfer that over to the column within my worksheet. Already, I've actually already done that there, so I've put in box one, two, three, as you can see, is actually exactly the same. Let me maximize this. The column I'm most interested in is where it says flat rate. Now, this is the box which I'd actually replicate on HMRC's website when submitting my uh, VAT. Now, it's always good practice that when you first start with your flat rate returns, it's always a good practice and really good advice to start on box number six. Box number six is basically your total VAT turnover, including your VAT for that particular period. Now, in this circumstance, for this particular example, um, it's £120. Box number one would be your industry-specific percentage for your flat rate. Whatever that percentage is, you have to multiply that by box number six. So for this example, I've used 10%. So 10% of 120 is £12. So that goes automatically in box number one. Box number two for me is normally zero. Obviously, speak to your accountant. Look at what your business needs are. Box number two is more in relation to purchases from within the EU. 
Uh, I don't have any for my business, so box number two for me would be zero. Box number three is box number one plus box number two, so uh, the total goes in box number three. Box number four is also normally zero, as with a flat rate scheme, you don't normally reclaim VAT. Box number five will be the difference between box number three and four, so box number five is £12. In effect, that's what I owe HMRC now. And box number six, as I already told you, is a total amount of VAT, your total VAT turnover, including your, your VAT for that particular period. So that goes into box number six. Box number seven, eight to nine for me, is uh, normally zero. Eight to nine are relation to EU transactions. And box number seven, again, is relation to reclaiming um, any VAT, which um, I do not do. So uh, here we go. So those are my boxes there. Now from here, I can actually go onto the HMRC's website and just basically copy box number one to nine from my Excel worksheet onto HMRC's website. However, I still want to make sure that my QuickBooks Online is kept up to date and also indicating the correct figures. So what I know is that QuickBooks Online is telling me that I owe HMRC £20. And um, I know the flat rate that I owe to HMRC is £12, the difference being eight. So what I'm going to do first is create a journal entry. You do this, you do this through your banking tab, click on more and journal entry. Now, as I said, the difference is eight pounds. So the way I'm going to do it is basically I'm going to debit the liability. The liability I'm actually going to debit is my new tax, so the flat rate 20% agency control account. Really important you do this correctly. It's the agency control account, which is a liability. I'm going to debit that by eight pounds. And from here, I'm actually going to create a new income account. So if I click on income, click next, other primary income, click next. I'm going to call this VAT flat rate excess. Click finish. And I'll be crediting that by eight pounds as well. I'm going to click on save. Now from here, I'm going to go back to my VAT tab and back to the return page. Now from here, I'm actually going to file my VAT now within QuickBooks Online. So if you, at the top, you, as you can see, you can actually change your filing period from your original settings if you wish. So I'm going to click on Refresh. I'm actually going to file that. So mark as filed. Okay, so from here, um, my VAT is now being filed. I'm actually going to go to reports and just so I could just show you visually what's going on. So on the balance sheet, you'll be able to see from here, you've got the flat rate agency control at £8 and you've got the agency suspense account at £20 because I've just actually filed in QuickBooks Online for £20. So what I need to do then is do another journal entry. But before I do that, I'm actually going to record a payment. And the payment I'm actually going to record will be the difference between the two. So 20 minus 8 is £12. I'm going to click on 12. This is my flat rate difference. Save that. Go back to my reports. Go back to the balance sheet. And as you can see, there's a an eight pounds difference um, there's and there's eight pounds uh, showing within my agency account and also a minus eight pounds in my suspense account so now i'm going to go into back into banking as i said i'm going to create another simple journal entry so first of all i've got my agency control account also a liability i'm going to look to credit this amount by eight pounds which was the difference i'm going to look to debit my flat rate 20% agency suspense account. I click on save. Go to reports, back to my balance sheet. As you can see, 
it's all balanced off correctly I've got zero showing in my liabilities now which is absolutely correct and the cash that's come out of my current account minus 12 pounds which was the amount as you remember from the flat rate which I owe to HMRC is also correct so this is the workaround for HMRC uh, with the flat rate tax uh, when you pay to HMRC and um, this is how I do it and as I said I find it really beneficial now as I've got the Excel worksheet here as well if you were to drop your email and um, message me your email or drop it within the comments below I'm more than happy to actually forward you the Excel worksheet it literally took me a few seconds to make it it wasn't a big task a task so I could actually email that across to you thanks a lot for listening and watching feedback is always welcome so by all means leave your feedback there if anyone else wants me to look at any other things that they're stuck with or if they um, you know, have any other ideas that I could actually continue my videos with, uh, then by all means, you know, leave feedback below and uh, I'll hopefully be able to answer a few other questions. So thanks a lot for that and uh, stay tuned. Take care.